the scriptures admonish us, do not neglect to meet together. But sometimes we just don't feel like it. Or sometimes our experience of being part of the congregation can be pretty challenging. Why should we go to church? What's gained and what's lost if we participate virtually? How does your participation, you in particular, contribute to the mission of God when you show up in a congregation? What would you say to somebody who asks you why you go to church? Do you go to church? Uh, not as much as I should. Oh, why is, well, why is that? Because I'm lazy. Okay. Horrible. <laughs> when I'm you... horrible. I'm hoping for purgatory, honestly. <laughs> uh, when you do go to church, why is it that you are going? Because I need redemption. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. When you do go, what what was meaningful to you about going um, to either faith community? I think, uh, well, I really only went to church, but I think it's the sense of community, being with family, friends, gatherings. Um, I love the uh, the culture behind it, the architecture of Catholic churches. So I do I do enjoy the environment, and I probably will be going sooner or later. Well, my answer is because um, Jesus said this. He said, uh, when you see the day approaching, uh, that you should get together more and more instead of less and less. So we're living in a time when people are getting together less and less the fellowship um, of other faith in Christ because the world's telling them to do that. So I'm going to do the exact opposite and follow Jesus. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Do you go to church? I don't. Why not? Because I don't believe in God. Okay, that's a good answer for that. <laughs> in, yeah. Oh, in general, mm -hmm. because I was raised a Catholic and yeah. I believe in God and all those things. Why is it important to go to church? It is important because we are God's people. We are created in his image, in his likeness. And church is not our idea. It's God's idea. God made it in such a way so that his people can gather together in the church to strengthen one another, to build each other. Do you go to church? Uh, no, I don't go to church. I'm Hindu, so I go to the temple pretty frequently. Um, I usually go when I'm feeling a little bit down or I need some extra support uh, before big exams, big events. I go to feel good and confident. So yeah, I go to temple pretty often. So the question is, do you go to church? Um, kind of. I was raised Catholic, so I've gone to Catholic church my whole life. I went every single Sunday. Uh-huh. Um, but then I didn't like some of the teachings or how certain stuff were used, like yeah. as weapons or etc. So I kind of tried to find some more communion with the earth, I guess, and with like the earth around me. I met this really cool community and they have like a revised version of Catholicism that's more earth-based and it's more earth-based spirituality. So Sundays I hold a little appreciation of just the earth around us, I guess, and what's provided for us and how we can appreciate it a lot more than we do right now. So I kind of go to church. Do you go to church? Yes, I do go to church. And why do you go to church? Um, I enjoy the service and it's a chance to like hear the the Bible, you know, hear the story of Jesus and the message of Jesus. It's it's different than reading the Bible on my own. But I think I go and also for the community. I go to St. Francis in the Prudential. So it's just something that I feel good going to. Spend the day with others, reflecting on the significance of communal worship learning from scripture and our theological tradition, and praying. In order to clarify your own answer to this question, be more equipped to help your congregation live into its calling, and recover a sense of wonder at the God who meets with us in grace and love as we gather together. This workshop is open to everyone in our diocese, lay and ordained, and no training or preparation are needed just your own experiences, and a desire for in-depth conversation and spiritual growth. The same workshop will take place in three sites, Cathedral Church of St. Paul's in Boston, St. Paul's Newburyport, St. Thomas in Taunton. Participants will leave with a packet of materials to take back to their respective congregations so they can continue the conversation with their uh, committees. We look forward to welcoming you and making a space together where the spirit can work 
through our minds, our hearts, and our bodies. Join us.